Hi, I'm Hans Lewis Glimt. You're watching Farman TV, and uh, today is November 18th, 2009. We are joined here in the Farman TV studio, Tech Talk, today with uh, Mr. Salve Joshua Nilsson, who is the leader of the Oslo Pearl Mongers, the network for Pearl programmers here in Oslo, Norway. And uh, Salve Nilsson, why do you program in Pearl? Yes, it's a good question. <laughs> it's the first language I, I really bothered learning well, it's basically. Uh, but, but that's also like uh, asking a Norwegian, why do you speak uh, Norwegian? Well, wh why is no no Norwegian your language? It, it's it's uh, circumstances which dis decide something like that. But uh, with time, I've uh, personally, I can say that I, I've learned to like it a lot. It's, it has lots of interesting features. It has a huge uh, amount of software available freely at the Comprehensive Perl Archive Network, the, the library of all kinds of modules for that uh, uh, programming language. And uh, in general, it's a, a, a very free and uh, uh, fun language to program in with the, n almost no restrictions at all. It, it lets, lets me express myself and solve my problems easily and, and uh, with a fun way. If we compare Perl to other programming languages, uh, I mean, PHP is very popular these days. What is the advantage of Perl? Uh, well, CPAN uh, is, is the first answer there, I think. Uh, um, uh, Perl community by itself is also something remarkable. It's all over the world with uh, hundreds of Perl monger uh, organizations. Um, uh, and, and daily grassroots, no, not daily, huh? uh, regular grassroots conferences all over the place. Uh, uh, in, in Norway, we've had uh, several Nordic Pearl workshops where I've been organizing those. Uh, uh, there are, uh, there's one in just uh, a, a short time next weekend, I think, in, in London, which was, uh, and there's uh, another one in, uh, in Riga, actually. So it's uh, it's all over the place, uh, everywhere. Uh, the Russians are good at it. The Americans are good at it. It's an international community with people knowing each other, and it's fun. <laughs> all right, sounds good. But I guess that's the truth with a lot of programming languages, PHP, Ruby on Rails, the C++, everything. So um, what I'd like to know is, do you consider Perl, or is Perl a last-generation fully updated uh, programming language, or is it slightly older generation, last generation? Uh, previous generation. Yeah, well, uh, it, it's like a, a, any langu natural language. It's under constant development. Uh, uh, right now, the, the current stable version is Pro version 5.10, uh, uh, and that's, uh, uh, f to come to that point, Perl has evolved for more than 20 years. Uh, it's almost 25 years, actually. Uh, having said that, there's a next version coming, a Perl version 6, which has been in the making uh, and uh, f f yeah, in the making for eight, nine years now. Uh, and th that language has um, uh, ambitions of being better than anything else out there. Uh, basically, uh, the idea is to take out everything that's not good with language as we know it today, uh, which we aren't happy with, and stealing from everywhere all the good stuff. And as far as I have seen the last couple of years, uh, the Perl 6 guys are succeeding really nicely with that. It's an extremely good language to learn. Uh, it's not uh, uh, stable in the manner that I would have run a nuclear power plant with it, but <laughs> but but uh, it's definitely worth looking into today. And uh, uh, next year, uh, second quarter, there will be a, a stable release of that uh, language, uh, it's, it, which should be good enough for n uh, normal people. That means not uh, the most intensely enthusiastic pro programmers uh, to go out and try. It. Okay, I think we get it. Um, is it uh, to say that, I know you mentioned that uh, the new 6 uh, is uh, not backwards compatible with older Perl versions. So will you say that with version 6 there's a make it or break it uh, session for Perl coming up? or Perhaps. Uh, in some ways it is. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a Perl, it's a language which is familiar but uh, not backwards compatible as you say. 
Uh, but the reason for that is uh, in order to get rid of the craft, the bad stuff, we have to do it. Uh, having said that, they have ambitions of making it possible to migrate uh, from Perl 5 to Perl 6 with, uh, I think they were uh, aiming for like 98% of, 99% of all code should be easily transferable. And then the last few hundred lines, you have to manually check that you're doing it right. Uh, so uh, when that time comes, that when the Perl 6 should be uh, able to m be quite mature enough and easy enough for a Perl 5 projects to uh, migrate to that uh, language. Okay, sounds good. Um, well, if we, if we look at someone who's looking at uh, a new development project and from a project manager's uh, perspective and looking at different programming languages and uh, comparing them to each other, uh, what would be the criteria that would uh, be present for someone to choose Perl over PHP or any other language? Uh, well, first of all, uh, in so many situations, it depends on what kind of people you have. Uh, uh, and if your uh, programmers uh, are PHP programmers or Python, then it's perhaps easier to just go with the flow and, and try and make it what you can out of it. Uh, having said that, uh, Perl does have uh, CPAN and 18,000 plus modules and a huge community which lets you get all those nice things for free. Um, it, it, it's a, a language with less restrictions uh, as, uh, and still huge amounts of features, so you can done, do stuff very quickly as in with many of the other uh, high-level languages. So it's it's an even match. Uh, uh, I would say uh, uh, Perl matches up uh, very well against the competitions. It's better in some ways, in depending on your business and and what uh, era you need to have your problem solved. Uh, uh, Perl might do well, very well, or perhaps not as good. Uh, but in the final uh, hour, it's actually the people what that counts. It is. Okay, of course. So, so you go with the competence that's uh, available. But when it comes to, you know, if we use an expression like total cost of ownership, it's a kind of a Microsoft uh, approach to the problem. Uh, would you say that, you know, you, there's a trade-off between the hours you spend making something and the flexibility and the, the access you have to the core functionality? Would you say that, you know, rather simplistic, uh, straightforward stuff, you can go with PHP, but if you if you need to have total control of the application and, and need to, to really be able to tune things more, then you rather go with Perl? Is that a simplistic way to put it? Uh, n n yes and no. Uh, uh, one thing I've experienced is that uh, uh, it depends on your level of ambition. If you are solving a problem which you know will be needing attention for years to come, this is not a one-off problem that will be done in, in three weeks or whatever it takes, uh, then, you could, then what language you choose uh, doesn't matter at all. Uh, if it's a 10-year project or five-year, something, a, a societal problem which needs solved with the code in some way, then you have to consider maintainability and what kind of people you have and uh, uh, available. And, and uh, in that uh, direction, if, uh, in that case, um, uh, the choice of language becomes very important. Uh, Perl does do well there, but uh, it's a liberate, it's a very free language. It, it lets you express yourself easily in many ways, which also has a back side of the coin, meaning uh, your personal ways of doing things will uh, perhaps not be the same way other people will do it, which uh, makes things like... Uh, um, uh, coding style and uh, uh, conventions on how you do stuff are more important. And uh, some other languages, like especially, especially Python, uh, tries to impose uh, uh, rules that in the, that regard on the programmer, which helps uh, the long term a little bit, but uh, uh, for some short term annoyances. So, P Perl does well there, but it requires a certain amount of discipline from the programmer. All right, very good. Well, we've appreciated the opportunity to talk to Salve Joshua Nilsson, who is the leader of the Oslo Pearl Mongers Group. And this has been a uh, talk by uh, Farman Tech Talk. We'll be back with more. <laughs>